Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Monster Madness and it's going to be the last broadcast from 1998. History of Horror. Oh boy, I don't think I've ever heard of this one before. The last broadcast? Hmm, no, nothing comes to mind unfortunately, but I'm sure it's going to be very fascinating and very interesting. Just like this headset I'm wearing. It's a strange, weird contraption. I mean, I look like I'm wearing the Ritual Mask from Fallout 76 right about now. Uh, if you look at the photo of that one, I mean, it, it's like a split and match. I just have to put some bones on it. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, check out this video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> I just can't believe I just mentioned Fallout 76. What the hell's up? Welcome Wrong back to me. the history of horror films and Cinemassacre's Monster Madness. In the late 1990s, the horror genre began to grow stale. All the classic monster movies were being remade. Hmm. The slasher franchise had run its course and has been the subject of parody and cliche. <laughs> we know that horror movies aren't real, but then comes along a horror movie in a documentary format actually suggesting that it is real. The last broadcast uh, details the events like the last, of the cable access uh, show Factor Blair Witch Fiction, Project, in which the hosts sort of. venture into the Pine Barrens of southern I'm New guessing. Jersey to find the legendary Jersey Devil. We're here in the Pine Barrens, southern New Jersey, live and direct, coming right at you in your living room. They all end up being murdered except for one member of the group, and as a result, he's convicted of the murders. But throughout the movie, we examine their video, and one after another, yeah, we uncover the Blair Witch evidence Project. that That's he may not be a killer. Whoa, it's Steven Flight. What? Steven Flight. Yo, Steve! Steven! What makes it effective is the build-up. It's just a big puzzle slowly coming together, <laughs> and we eagerly await what the outcome will be. There are no knife fragments or any evidence of the actual weapon used <laughs> other than the cuts themselves. It has a really unsettling mood, and that monotone voice of the narrator just enhances that. How in spite of the remote location of the murders and the rural nature of the people prosecuting Jim, that these were murders of a high-tech age. The last broadcast started a new wave of reality horror, most notably the Blair Witch Sorry, Project, there we which go. brought independent <laughs> horror back into the mainstream with the same successful gimmick I guess this pretending was that like it was a real. stepping stone. The last broadcast was also shot all on digital video paving the way for independent filmmakers and it was the first movie to be broadcast to theaters by satellite making Damn. it an important part in our history of horror films and cinema in general <laughs> wow fascinating sort of sort of reminds me of like um what was that uh cloverfield in a way i don't know what if i should compare cloverfield to this <laughs> but it reminds me of like the blair witch project cloverfield and like paranormal activity for some reason i don't know like the weapons there was no weapon marks i don't know it's sort of like paranormal activity sort of stuff i don't know uh but it, it gets that sort of vibe um that's very quite interesting the last broadcast from 1998 uh yeah um from what i've seen uh like two minutes of it i wish there was a little bit more <laughs> but uh from what i've seen it looks all right it's just a sort of another documentary sort of style like the blair witch project um so yeah it's quite fascinating but uh yeah totally awesome uh i would i don't know probably check it out but uh yeah if you like this video make sure to give a like comment down below make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>